Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. I am here with my monthly flip through of my previous month's journal and my new journal. So we will get to this in a moment. Let's start with the June journal. This is a reusable book cover if you've never seen what I've done. And the theme for June was actually Warrior. Uh, this is a great kit. I love it. Um, I love dragons. And so this kind of was one of my favorites. It also has a corresponding journal kit. So if you'd like to make a journal kit and then use the stickers from this as well to help decorate, uh, it makes a great pairing. So this was uh, a cover that I made and I have a short on how this whole cover was made, but this was used using a Cricut to cut this out and iron on uh, vinyl, gold vinyl. And then of course I have my cover page and that is an, actually a separate page from all of my stickers that I used all of that. Be strong and courageous. You'll see a lot of Bible quotes and encouraging quotes. I have a whole extra bonus page in this kit that includes Bible quotes, encouraging quotes, things of that nature. So it also would make a great prayer journal as well. So you can see that I've done a variety of different things. I started out sort of using a more traditional way um, one day at a time, every page has a quote on it, and I kind of did the top bottom, top bottom kind of thing, and then I started throwing in a couple of different things to do. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is actually a quote from Ms. Frizzle, take chances, make mistakes, get messy. She is definitely my spirit animal. So again, I was using a lot of the washi tape as background. I have background stickers. I love this. Those who do not believe in dragons are often eaten by them, which is actually a misquote, uh, but a lot of people use it for things. So again, a lot of top, bottom, side to side. Um, so you can see there's quite a variety of stickers, and these I counted as photos although they're really not and the sides so again kind of going through here rather quickly you can see that I did a more traditional and then here I started doing some of my more non-traditional ones there's no washi tape behind those this one I stuck just smack in the middle this one again I scattered things throughout it and this is the last day of June so this one, I kind of was using up stickers. So this last page is blank, and that is my June journal. This won't take very long. This is actually my July journal, and this one's Blossoms and Bees is the theme for July. That is the sticker kit that I will have in my, that I have already in my Etsy shop. It is up and ready to go. I'm really excited. This kind of was a happy accident. I knew I had this yellow. This is actually um, upholstery fabric. Somebody gave me an upholstery book sampler. So I have been grateful ever since and used that a lot. This was one of the background pages I cut off because I used that also on the inside. So this kind of matches. And then this was a sticker that I put behind a Tim Holtz book plate. This is actually, I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually brown on the other side. This is a gorgeous ribbon, and I'm honestly not sure from where it came. Then I sewed washi tape over the top, so a lot of stitching around on this. And I just cannot believe how gorgeous it turned out to me. On the inside, you'll see that same pattern used both on the inside of the front and the back. If you would like to see how I made this, it's in my shorts, so head over there. I also have my July cover page. Again, that's in my shorts. I do a lot of shorts, so if you're following me and you want to see more how-tos, uh, that's where you're going to find a lot of them. So that is my July, and then again, my 28-pound coffee-dyed acid-neutral paper. This is from a flower book that I have. 
and it was a page I'd already torn out, so I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. Um, for some random reason, I found a manila envelope, so I stuck that in here. I don't know that I'll use it, but hey, I have it. Maybe I'll actually print out some pictures and do that. This is a Japanese paper. I have no idea what it's called. I got it from Amazon, and I really, really thought this was a cool paper to add in here. It's really textural, but it's really soft. It almost has a fabric feel to it. Um, five hole pamphlet stitch with embroidery floss for the uh, the tie-in. Again, that paper and the other half, I did cut the bottom off of this, so this side is open. I do have it, so I have two tuck spots in here. And this is the other half of that page with the yellow flowers. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. And one of the projects I'm going to be working on this summer is to actually put up smaller kits. So every monthly kit that I have, I'm going to go back and post just the sticker part of it. So you're not getting the photographs. You're not getting the washi background paper. You're not going to be getting the monthly cover page, just the straight stickers. And then, um, and it will give you two options. You can get just the stickers or you can get the stickers and the paper dolls that are included in those kits as well. And I may even go so far as to do just a paper doll kit that's just straight all the paper dolls that I've done over the years. So I'm going back and redoing some of my listings. The original listings will stay there but I'm just adding some more options for people who don't want to buy a big full kit. They just want the stickers and I get that. So definitely going to put up the stickers. Again, may do stickers and paper dolls, may do the paper dolls separately. We'll see. Anyway, keep an eye on my Etsy shop. I will be posting those hopefully over the next several months. It's going to take me a while to get that all done. However, I'm super excited about that option as well. And so moving forward, I will also be posting two separate kits, one that is the full kit and one that's a smaller kit, at least one, maybe two. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed my flip through. I hope you are excited about my up shop updates and I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.